Panthers. Well, who's it going to be? Calderon in blue, a couple of centimetres shorter. And that leg length can be so crucial. Nice show of etiquette. And they shake hands, but can they shake each other's head with their feet? That's the intention. Going forward straight away there. Ishmidera looking very aggressive. Tries with the headshot over the shoulder. It's been a super aggressive start from the Turkish fighter in red. Ishmidera, centre of the mat. Looking down the barrel of the shots here from Calderon. Tries that little front leg again, just pushing forward. Well covered by the Turk. Good back leg turning kick, really aggressive. Tries again with the headshot, gets closer. And the customary catching of breath at the moment. Both fighters just taking a little rest, summing up the final energy here in the first round. Calderon tries to go forward. We mentioned that height difference for Daira. So difficult to get past it. Neshmi Daira, very, very resolute in defence. Keeps that front leg out, tries a little hook kick to the head. And it scores an absolute picture perfect three point shot. 33 seconds left in the first. Calderon is just in a bit of trouble, tries a chop kick of her own. Good blocking again from the Turk. She's taking a tumble to the tactics. With 10 seconds left in this one. The Turk has been the stronger of the two by far. Maria Calderon. Can she find something? No, she cannot. The end of the first round for the Costa Rican Maria Calderon. This was how the aggression of the Turk. Here's the head kick just landing clean and clear. And in the clear by three points. It's Dera of Turk. Second round gets underway here. The taller of the two, the Turk in red, Eshmi Daira. Maria Calderon. Well, she's going to be called upon to do something here. Can she find a way through? Looks for a body shot of her own. Timing's just not quite right for the Costa Rican at the moment. And that's testament to the Turk. Her timing has been impeccable so far. Tries again with that hook kick, changes it from head to body, and look at the power. Ishmi Daira really pushing forward. As if she didn't have her problems to seek. Young Calderon takes a Kyongo for holding on the way through. And of course, if you're new to the sport, you may be looking at it thinking, does it hurt when they kick each other? It is a full contact sport. It doesn't always land on the protective equipment. There's a lot of power in these kicks. That might belie the light weight of both fighters. But they can certainly land with plenty of power. And in this under 44 kilogram semi-final. Well, Calderon really hasn't managed to get anything going. Can she change her approach here? As we get into the dying embers of this second round. But Eshmi Daira has taken all the sting out of this one. Happy to let things run down. Good attempted head kick. A spirited attempt from Calderon. But the flexibility not quite there. The Costa Rican Calderon. Can she find something in the last 15 seconds of this second round? Changes stance. Tries to look for something different. Headshot attempt there. That was close, and again. 
She's not going down without a fight. She's going to go. And that fork is so important. Well, each of these push kicks, it's easy to watch it on TV and think, well, you know, is that a kick? Is it a point? Each of these. Some encouragement from the crowd for Maria Calderon. Can she find a crumb of comfort here? She takes a big push kick again. And the power of the touch. Pushing forward. And she's got one foot in the final so far, as Eshmi Daira. She just dials back the intensity here, just taking it cool. Knocked back there. <laughs> no credit to Calderon. She's not messing around. And that little Kyungo, well, he'll bring it back to a three point game. Getting closer. Can the Costa Rican produce a little miracle here of her own? World Championship final at stake. And She's just going into a shell a little bit here, just. On the defensive. Good reverse turning kick attempt here. Fires round the corner. And if you're an expert in Taekwondo, you know that a spinning kick, and that's worth four points. And look how quickly fortunes change. Credit to Calderon. She wouldn't let it go. Eshmi Daira went on the defensive. It's very hard to defend for a minute and 30 seconds, let alone the remaining minutes. So the tuck back on with her original plan being more aggressive. You can see now the concentration required from Eshmi Daira. She was points ahead. She was below to give this one away in the last seconds here. Calderon's aggression. Credit to her. Up two seconds left. Do you stick or do you twist? Who's going to go for it here? Calderon has got the momentum at the moment. Almost walks into the big head kick there from the Turk. Good footwork from the Costa Rican Calderon as she shimmies around. Ten seconds left. Are we heading for sudden death? Certainly looks like it called her on. It is anyone's game now. And it just shows you concentration and precision. There's the reverse turning kick. And that four point shot. We sustain it here. Turkey's Eshmi Daira. Under a little bit of pressure here. Turk going on the defence first, trying to use that push kick. Calder on, on the back foot, good footwork from the Costa Rican. Moves herself back into the centre of the ring, away from the, the dangers of the edge. Bill Copeland, Arena falls silent here, the tension palpable. One point for a spot in the Junior World Championship final. Crucial times here. Good attempt to reverse turning kick. Well, Eshmi Daira takes a knee and takes a Kyungo likewise. Called her on. Tried again with the same reverse turning kick. To no avail this time. Who can avail themselves of a point here? That's all that's needed. Back leg turn and kick goes close. The headshot likewise. And there's the back leg turn and kick from Maria Calderon. And the most dramatic of some to her impressive taekwondo tally so far. She looked down and out. And she's back in it. Into the final. Maria Calderon of Costa Rica.
for the elation there for Calderon.